And finally, Prime Minister Modi has called on democratic nations to ensure that cryptocurrency doesn't have land in the wrong hands. Viewers, what was once the crypto craze is turning into hashtag crypto fear. Let's debate. Cryptocurrency has been a rage and the Prime Minister who has been keeping a close watch on the crypto threat has sounded a word of caution. Cryptocurrency, it is important that all democratic nations work together on this and ensure it does not end up in wrong hands. Republic debate on cryptocurrency two days back has gotten bigger. The conversation on cryptocurrency is gaining traction. About cryptocurrency. Companies which are vested into making money using crypto are going over the top, absolutely over the top, selling the idea of crypto being that one thing which can deliver all your future financial goals. How much can really be believed here? A lot of people, not just the government, a lot of experts are very concerned. When the crypto mania gripped the nation, there was a frenzy. Over the months, it has emerged as a national security threat. Along with market volatility and the risk of over-promising and under-delivering, Considering bringing in some kind of regulation, there's only one country, El Salvador, that really recognizes them. No wonder Prime Minister Narendra Modi has called for a global dialogue on the world of cryptocurrencies. The Modi government is now gearing up for a crypto bill that could be introduced in the upcoming sessions of the parliament. But one thing is for sure, the crypto craze is soon turning into crypto fear. Paul Krishna Agarwal, Kanish Gaur, P Professor P.K. Basu, Suril Desai, Prashant Bhatt and Tanvi Ratna. Suril, I'll start with you. You know, the problem was that the, the crypto guys, they tried to create too much hype and they oversold themselves. And that's when people started getting suspicious, you know. Uh, overdid the game, you know. Tried to pay money to news channels, get a uh, huge amount of advertising out there. And everyone's asking one question, who will take responsibility when the bubble bursts? When Who will take responsibility the when the bubble gone. bursts? The bubble is also happening in the global financial markets, right? The U.S. has printed $7 trillion right now, and there is excess liquidity in the market, and we are headed towards a crisis in China. Uh, the banks have been serving the Wall Street, while the crypto has been serving the Main Street. You know, fiat leaves a trail of recession. The system is broken. And uh, that's sounding like an anthem. Got... That is sounding like an anthem. Tell me one thing, because it is not a fiat currency, who's going to rescue it from the collapse? That's all I want to know. Who's going to rescue it from the collapse? If you say there is no rescue, I mean, it's your risk. Then you say so, it's all your risk. There's no rescue. Right. So it's, it's, it's a network, right? I mean, it's, and crypto is just a, first application on the blockchain. No, 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 no. So, so you're saying it's unevolved. The, the, no, no, so PK is on the debate. No, G, 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 GK, G, Gopal Krishna Agarwal is on the debate. Gopal Krishna Agarwal, they are saying it's unevolved, but it's cool. It's risky, but it's no, cool. Arnab, That's the argument. You, you yeah. have raised, yeah, Arnab, you have raised the right question. Whichever financial instrument which does not have an underlying asset value and intrinsic value in itself, can only lead to speculation and it can be an instrument of speculation only. And if unchecked speculation and it is considered as an asset class, then small uh, investors will definitely feel the pinch uh, whenever this bubble bursts. So if there are large players yeah. who have the resource to understand that Prashant if Bhatt. they take risk, that yeah. is for them, but government has a responsibility to protect small investors who get caught unaware. Yeah, so, 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 
And who is keeping the KYC of crypto firms to check in the absence of government regulation? No, no, absolutely. I think uh, I think see cryptocurrency. If you look at it from a you know from a from an idea perspective, it's it's a wonderful idea, right? Something that has got very positive implications for the government. And and we are at the starting stages of the crypto journey, right? So while while these are things that are necessary, and the government will bring in regulations, but you know I think from a crypto fear perspective. You know, I mean, there is risk even if you cross a road today, right? So I think we will have to cross that bridge. No, no, when but, we but, get but there, no, no, one but, one sec, one sec, one yeah. sec, one sec. Prashant, yeah. what you're saying? Yeah. Let's go to Kanish. What you're saying is, listen, yeah. we're not ready, we're not uninvolved, we're risky. There are no systems. Uh, but when you know all that, why are you going around doing these? Why, why are not you, crypto companies, going around, you know, majorly advertising, saying we are your dream, fulfill your dream? I would say. Set up your system before you take people's money, even if that is one rupee. Right, Kanishk? You're saying now, now because these questions are being asked, you're saying, yeah, we're not ready. We will get ready, but you're taking people's money when you're not ready. Yeah, absolutely. See, the biggest issue is they are promising everything under the sun and the moon. Right? It's saying that people will lives will change. Once they start investing in cryptocurrency, and there is not even a caveat which comes when these ads are put on national television. If you look at the entire IPL broadcast, yeah, yeah, it was full of crypto advertisement. Like the IPL rights were bought over by crypto companies. If you go to specific TV channels, the laptop of news anchors have crypto coin advertisements, right? So there is a mammoth force which is behind advertising cryptocurrencies today, and there is a strong lobby which is promoting this. And there are no laws in this country right now, right now, which can safeguard the interest of the investors. There is no awareness where do you invest which cryptocurrency. No, and there isn't. Kanish, Kanish, Kanish. All they are product. saying is, all they are saying is, listen. What they are saying? What is the basic logic? What is the psychology they are appealing to? Uh, uh, Professor P.K. Basu, at the end of the day, at the root of economics is psychology. The psychology that they're appealing to is, listen, a rupee is not cool. A dollar is not cool. We are cool. Well, an emoji is cool. Should I invest in an emoji? This is not even funny. You know, every time the value of a flat currency collapses, the government has measures the government can regulate by holding tangible assets like gold in vaults as an alternative. In a deregulated industry, what becomes the alternative? No, I, I think it's what important is the alternative? To, it's important to understand that, first of all, cryptocurrencies aren't about to replace fiat currencies. And, you know, there, there's, this, uh, there's this fear that somehow fiat currencies can be printed uh, endlessly. They cannot. In fact, they cannot. Uh, yeah. if, you, if you really look at the story of uh, the last 12 years <clears throat> since the global financial crisis, 13 years since the global financial crisis of 2008, uh, there was a lot of money printing by central banks. But initially, most of that money was, was held as excess reserves by banks. It didn't create a lot of... Uh, uh, of yeah. broad money, money uh, M2 didn't grow that rapidly. Yeah. So there, there was in fact a limited amount. Now, if you look at cryptocurrencies, the supposed value of a crypt cryptocurrency is that the distributed ne network has a limited supply and therefore uh, has some sort of intrinsic value emerging. But in fact, uh, by selling the idea of Bitcoins and other cryptocurrencies, to investors, you're essentially creating a, a kind of a bubble, like the tulip bubble, uh, that will eventually burst. So there is tremendous regulatory risk, and all central banks around the world are now extremely concerned and need 
to uh, get involved with regulating cryptocurrencies to ensure uh, that you don't have uh, you don't have this bubble suddenly bursting and and causing uh, Nobody, a new you know, financial the, crisis. The thing is, the thing so is, the it, idea it really is, the idea is. Uh, insider said, insider said to me that our approach is that let's just build the volume and then create a lobby and then build the pressure. So Tanvi, this is a smart idea. Build the advertising, build the hype, join the people, then say, oh, you know what? There are 10 crore people in India riding on it. You can't change it. You won't, you know, and, and therefore then you'll hold this like a gun and you'll say, we'll handle the regulation, we'll lobby. This is not ethical. No other country other than El Salvador has classified a cryptocurrency as legal tender, right? Right. Right. No, no. So, so, no, one minute, one minute, one minute. Look at the countries who want to legalize the tender. When El Salvador became the first country to recognize cryptocurrency, countries of Panama, Paraguay, Argentina and Brazil were warming up to the decision. Warming up to the decision. And countries like Panama are the same, where Pablo Escobar laundered money. Is it a coincidence? Yeah. Is no, it a coincidence? I think it makes, yeah, it makes no sense to... Anyway, allow anyway the, the, the question to is, the, the, question is the countries where Bitcoin is used the most don't recognize it as legal tender. Am I right, Suril? You're wearing a Bitcoin cap out there? You're trying to do surrogate yes, advertising no on my show? Suril, are you trying to do surrogate advertising on my show by wearing that cap? Am I? Yeah, I don't know. I Maybe, mean, you you are. Have, Maybe you are. I can see your Twitter account. So yes, Twitter Maybe has you are. that too, right? No, but maybe you are. So maybe it is. No. Yeah, so yeah, no, no, so that's what I'm saying here, right? Uh, no, one minute, one minute. Serious yeah. questions. Serious yeah. questions. Tanvi, serious questions are now being asked, right? Yes. Serious questions are coming into play, coming into play, and, and they're not being asked by just us. It's not being raised by the Prime Minister. What is the currency in cryptocurrency? Nothing in, is priced in any yeah. crypto coins. Most countries don't even accept it as a mode of payment. The stocks are merely rising on speculation, overbuying, underbuying. Yes, so the term know, currency is a misnomer. No, no. So the term currency here is a misnomer. Currency gets its value yes. from monetary authority. And it's widely used in Literally. an economy. So when you say I mean, cryptocurrency, one minute. The word currency, Tanvi, technically is a misnomer. Yes. You agree? But you're going around saying cryptocurrency. Where's the currency? If I were to ask you in a deeper thought, PK is the economist, where's the currency? But I think the president's statement to the prime minister's statement to have... A no, no, no. My question is, my question is, question is, serious question, serious question. Please tell me. You say currency. I ask you, explain to me in economic terms, in serious terms, where's the currency? Where's the monetary authority? Currency has to be... Where's the currency? You say cryptocurrency. I say where is the currency? Explain the use of the word currency. See, there, there, there so, are three, uh, are there are three requirements. I can speak only from the policy perspective, since that's the thing. No, from a policy so perspective, my question is, as a policy, as a policy in your advertising, yes. in, in, in putting things across, when you're saying it's an alternative to uh, a bank-controlled economy, uh, and you use the word currency, I ask you, layman yes. question, with a very yeah. elementary knowledge of economics which I have, where's the currency? Yeah. How does it become a currency? To answer your question, so, uh, the answer to your question is that it absolutely is a concern when advertisements like this happen. And there is a lot of precedent globally as well to tackle these risks. So Japan, no, for so example... Not, no, no, PK. This is serious. No, no, no. J.K. Agarwal. Mr. Agarwal is serious. Uh, if it's not a currency, no, then what is it? There no, the PK is getting serious. We have to understand, Arnav, this thing. Has to be currency is anything account, which can be used as in... Uh, and means of exchange. Correct. Anything which is recognized by a regulatory authority for as a means of exchange becomes a currency. The, for that, you are very sure that at present this is not a currency because it is not being PK, used PK, as a PK. means Last of exchange. PK, PK, PK. Last word to PK. Last word to PK. PK and We PK. should understand is PK. as so, you create an asset value. PK and Surin. I got your point you in economic terms. I understand that. PK, system. PK and no, Surin. Just let me complete. So, okay. No, no, because I have limited time. PK wants to make a point, Mr. Agarwal. Yeah. So, I get, I get so, your point. I get your point, Mr. Agarwal. PK and Surin. PK and Surin. So, so, I mean, 
fiat is it what a unit the of account of the fiat, is it a right? store fiat, of value is it a is it a fiat, is it a means fiat. of exchange yes yeah, these these are the three requirements for a currency no uh and at the no, moment but, but cryptocurrencies you, you do not that do, do you not have to meet these requirements that fiat money the only requirement is, is that in perhaps, latin, the, perhaps the latin it is a meaning, store of value it is only a store of value it, it is not a mode of exchange or, uh, or okay losing her well, so, okay Okay, I have to close. Unless it. you have, Suril, I think, you know, I think it serves I, all three purposes. A lot of people, a lot of people responding yes. to the questions here on Republic, and I tell you, viewers, let's have an informed debate. And I need, I think, they need to be complete. You know, it's a, such a sensitive subject that it needs full disclosure, including from news channels who are, you know, doing whatever they are doing on this subject. And finally, viewers, Ganpati Gagan says, Parambir has to be punished under relevant sections and terminated from the police service. Punita Sharma says. Either centre of Maharashtra government is giving cover. Milind Parki says, Parambir is approaching various courts. Can't the police hide, get out the details of Parambir from his lawyers? Okay, food for thought. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a great show. I shall see you tomorrow without fail at 9pm once again. Till then, good night and goodbye.